I don't think you're ready for this game. I'm going to start kicking all this stuff over on my own podcast. Get that back up and running smoothly. No, I just, really, I'm going to be honest with you. I ain't been doing the podcast because the kids, man, they had the age where they're just active. And it's hard for me. Like, it's easier for me to just log what we doing at that moment than to actually sit down in the office with the camera and stuff like that. But don't worry. Everything will be straight. Just so that I get my cl- my path cleared and stuff like that. Get my schedule opening up. Oh, yeah. And then um, don't forget, today is official Bad Girls Rochester, New York. So, not bad girls, but baddies, Rochester. So, yeah, it's the auditions today, officially. Outside, it's raining and stuff. But I wanted to do one quick video real quick. And we're going to talk about the money glitch. Right? All right. And the person we're going to talk about the money glitch with is... Bandman man Kevo. If you don't see the game, if you don't understand what happened or what's going on, you ain't gonna never understand. <laughs> so, right. Bad man Kevo started with a knot. A big knot, a fat knot. Now, how he got that night, I got my speculations. You know, I ain't really trying to dig. Well, fuck it, let me talk about it. All right, so he started off scamming and stuff like that. But when he went in, I think he still had, like, some money put away somewhere. Because at that time in the game, around them years, everything was, a lot of stuff was done with Bitcoin. You get what I'm saying? And Bitcoin at that time was kind of cheap. It was like real cheap. So even if you had like a thousand dollars in it and each coin was a dollar, just imagine how much money he had when he came out. <laughs> but at the same time, like, ain't no telling. Ain't no telling because he came back on the scene with money. You get what I'm saying? And. A nigga like that who already was making money, big time money, he gonna come out to some money. He gonna or either he gonna um be making money while in there or he had money put away or he gonna come back out and make a bag real fast. Cause he jumped in that scene like three months after but he had his youtube channel still before he went in and stuff like that you get what i'm saying he had videos music and stuff like that so he gonna come out with some money you feel what i'm saying now first thing he did right when he came out was he started looking for a little hookups and little little he started looking for little flips which are actually big flips so like he was doing the toro he found out about Toro, all that stuff. But what he was doing was comping cars and stuff like that. He was building up his clout. He was comping up, comping that jewelry, comping cars, you know what I'm saying? And just building his name, you know. He was already known for something. You get what I'm saying? Because the first thing you got to do is be known for something. You feel what I'm saying? To garner that attention. So you know as being a rapper and a scammer. You get what I'm saying? Which was... Two of the hottest topics out in the streets at that moment. Scamming and being a rapper. It's unbelievable. I'm just surprised he didn't garner as much attention as he should have. You get what I'm saying? Because right after that, you know, that's up. He tried going to the financial game, which is a higher CPM. But then he did start 
taking them links on, on OnlyFans and stuff like that. And doing so he he was building up his OnlyFans and building up and then he did do something with the NFTs and stuff like that. He, he copped a little bag with the NFTs and stuff like that. The man is making money. I ain't gonna lie. I am not gonna lie. And that's just how he making money. You understand what I'm saying? But you gotta understand how he got there. All right. So he did a lot of collaborations. He do a lot of collabs, a lot of podcasts, a lot of um vlogs, a lot of interviews and things like that of that nature. And the more interviews he do, the more collabs he do, and the more he keep pushing out content, the more people he get to follow him. You understand what I'm saying? You understand what I'm saying? So he was mingling with high income influencers. You feel me? And then he promoted a lifestyle also while all while doing it with the cars, the boats, the the jets and things like that. And he was portraying and showing a lifestyle that even your top notch high paid influencers is not doing. You understand what I'm saying? So at that time they all started getting lined up. <laughs> no, let me stop. <laughs> Oh, it's just so funny, man. It's funny, but it's dope at the same time. Like, people like me could appreciate the game that was put down. It's just like, he just missing parts. Yo, guys, I swear to you. You no, know, I'm about to say, I see something blinking behind me. But uh, in the camera, but when I look at the hot, the flat iron is not blinking. Like, yo, is it on? Actually, the record being on here, that was spooky. But anyway, it's just so funny. Like, the ones who, like, really know the game, know the game, and been in the game for a while, you know, we appreciate stuff like this. <laughs> but without the, um, the mentor and without him listening you get what I'm saying he he, he can't he's not really like pressing it the way that we a lot of people see he could go with it you get what I'm saying like it's like taking a small bag which, regardless, is a big bag. You get what I'm saying? Like, what what I'm talking about is some advanced stuff right here. It, regardless of a big bag, right? But the quick bag, the um, well, the small bag is a quick bag a lot of times. But the bigger bag is not always promised, neither. And that's what a lot of people, they see a bag and they're like, bump it, I'm going to snatch this bag. And then whatever happens after that, it happens. You get what I'm saying? And so wait for that big bag or working towards that big, big bag. You get what I'm saying? Because a lot of these people. Hold on, I got phone call. I got to help my people get something real quick. But a lot of people not willing to like have patience. And then the other part is like the study part and just like. You get what I'm saying? Because the um, OGs, the OGs know better. You get what I'm saying? Like, and even as young Gs, like, we in our 30s and shit. We in 20s. and So, like, we young Gs. We not even the OGs. You get what I'm saying? So, even us, we can see stuff like, uh, oh, my God. You get what I'm saying? But it was crazy. So let me rewind it for the ones who don't understand. He came out and he had already had a knot. Or he got a knot fast. But he already had businesses and different things, different ventures set up already that was making money, supposedly. You get what I'm saying? But he already went in for getting a bag. 
You know what I'm saying? Came out. Got his whip game together. Got his jury game together. Got his clothing game together. And he did just do, like, low-level stuff. He went straight designer on them. And then he just started living and showing them a lavish life in order to bring in more attention. You feel what I'm saying? But that's what I'm going to hit y'all with right now. I'm going to let you later. Peace out, real fam. So, yeah. Before I go to the other part with Ben and Couple, right? You can't forget. He was in that credit game. Well, you know what I'm saying? And so, he knew how to build credit fast. And that's another key. He had great credit. So that's how he was able to move real quick, too. But he had money, but he had that credit, too. So remember, keep that credit. All right, I'm out now.